how are you guys doing? It's the time of the year again. They're gonna be, uh, yeah, well, that's part of that. We're gonna be riding our fat bikes. Behind me here is the 2021 Salsa Mukluk Dior 11 Speed. I just had a, a quick rip and it's pretty good. We're first gonna talk about uh, a quick bike check on what uh, comes with the bike here. So the frame stays the same uh, from the previous year. Uh, it's still uh, the same in, in terms of uh, uh, form and uh, geometry, it's still the same. And it still has the alternator uh, dropout that you can adjust the chain stay to be shorter or longer. Shorter for quick and nimble ride, longer for uh, more stable uh, riding. The only changes would be for the aluminum frame uh, for this year is the color scheme. Like right now, I have the green. The other color for this is the purple. And the frame spacing and the fork spacing, the rear spacing is about 197 mm for the rear. Uh, the fork, which is the bare paw, uh, it's a carbon fork. Um, it has 150 mm uh, spacing, which is pretty common for a fat bike. The frame also has a uh, internal routing for your dropper post if you want to uh, buy a, a dropper post uh, for it. When you get this bike, it will only come with just a regular uh, seat post and a 13.6 mm uh, fitting. As Salsa, as the one of the leading uh, brands for like, like bike packing and adventure, so the frame for this and the fork has a lot of uh, mounting options if you want you want someday to go for a bike packing adventure uh, pretty much this bike is not only meant for uh, uh, for winter riding but also pretty much the whole year round yeah so if you want to go bike packing one of the option uh, that you want to uh, put down in your list the cockpit for this it's a salsa uh, brand they name it uh, under salsa the handlebar it's about 660 mm wide and uh, it has a 35 mm diameter for the clamp uh, for the stem and the stem length is about 50 mm this is a small size I think it goes longer if you get the larger or the extra large the saddle is is uh, by WTB volt the brakes are Tektro a 160 mm rotor these are hydraulic brakes although hydraulic I'm kind of wondering why they put 160 mm on this bike which is kind of heavy uh, I can feel it it's under power maybe changing to 180 mm rotor maybe it will help you uh, stop pretty quick the drive chain for this is a Shimano uh, the M5100 series which is only 11 speed but it has the feature of a 12 speed when I say feature not having a 12 speed but it has the range from 10 to 51 which is pretty good uh, for for this uh, level of uh, uh, drive train for the rear trailer it has the on and off uh, for the clutch which is also nice to have it helps out to tone down the rattle the rattle of the chain or the crank set is from uh, Samux to be honest this is the first time I heard about this brand the Samux brand and apparently uh, they, act they are actually uh, like the BMX uh, crank set as well and also they have some crank set for the uh, E for the e-bikes the wheel set for this are Sun Ringle the rim is a mule foot 80 mm SL the tires are uh, Dillinger 5 by 45 north 26 by 4.6 uh, for the size and these are both are the rim and the the tires are both tubeless ready and also the tires which I like is that the tires are stable ready so all you just need to do is just pop in and pop out whatever uh, whatever season you want to use this bike which is pretty nice to have that uh, option there you don't have to drill the studs but just pop it in and pop it out I was riding the Maclo in one of our local single track trail with some short but steep switchback punchy climbs and quick downhills the trail is called Selkirk Nights this trail is more of an XC training ground and should be perfect to expose on how well this fat bike could ride. The bike geometry is on spot, nimble and easy to maneuver. It almost doesn't feel like a fat bike.
cockpit setup is modern 760mm wide handlebar and 50mm stem length that it helped to stay in control in any direction. In the climbs, the Dior 11 speed is excellent, smooth shifting and you would never thought that this is a lower spec drivetrain. I can pretty much clear every climb in this trail. The wide range 10 to 51 is plenty. The bike is very inspiring to ride. However, the textural brakes is I think will pull down on how good this fat bike rides. On a demanding descent, I find myself squeezing the brakes really hard. Rotors are only 160mm. Maybe if the rotors are 180, it will probably remedy the quick stopping. Otherwise, it will work just fine if riding on a pavement or any less demanding trail. Overall, the bike is dialed, very fun to ride. The Shimano drivetrain is very impressive, and hey, the tan sidewall tires looks classy too. A couple things we'll have to upgrade here quickly. First, the dropper, which I replaced it already. Second is the brake. I will try first to replace the rotor to 180 and see if that works. Don't get me wrong, this bike is not intended for downhill or fast XC, but it can sure bring the fun on any trail that you are capable of riding it. So there it is, the 2021 Salsa Mucklot Dior 11 Speed. I will for sure do a long term review for this bike. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification button to see more videos. Thanks all for watching, be safe, and see you on the trails.